Welcome everyone, I'm Joe the Lawnmower, and today I'm going to show you the day 10 germination results right here behind me with the GCI Cool Blue. So let's get started. Before we get going today, I want everyone to subscribe to the channel if you're new so you don't miss out on future updates of the project loan right here behind me and my updates of my house as well. So again, if you're new, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. And to the ones that are subscribed already, thank you. And I love the support and please continue supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. So let's get back to the video. So please bear with me in today's video. I lost my voice over the weekend. Um, and also they have a lot of cars that go up and down their roadway right here. But again, it's day 10 right here behind me, germination. Um, the, it is coming in, I would say, well. Um, it's thin, a little thin in certain areas, so we may throw down some more seed um, or we might just let it ride. Um, and then we'll definitely hit it probably with another dose of starter fertilizer like I did at my house on day 15. Um, so we will probably be doing that on day 15 at their house as well. Throw down a second app of starter fertilizer. But overall, um, I think the lawn's looking very well. Um, it's coming in. Their existing grass is definitely thriving with that starter fertilizer that we threw down on the day of seeding. Um, so they're probably going to have to cut this um, maybe sometime this weekend um, because it is getting pretty high. But as long as they get on and get off, um, everything should be fine. Those baby germs that have gone come through, um, it shouldn't tear up any of those uh, baby germs that come through. So if you have to mow, and I hopefully will be mowing this weekend at my house, um, if you have to mow, you know, try and get on and get off um, if you can so you don't tear up anything, you don't mess up any of the new baby germs. Um, that's what I'll be telling them right here. Probably not to use their tractor-style tractor, tractor style, uh, lawnmower, but to use their regular uh, push mower and just get on and get off. So just to show you guys, uh, it is coming in, well, um, it is coming in a little bit thin, thinner than I would have liked, um, but it is coming in pretty well. Um, as you can see here, you know, you can see some baby germ through here, through the existing grass. Um, so it is coming in, but um, it is coming in fairly thin in some areas. Um, so again, on probably day 15, like I did at my house, we will probably be throwing down another dose of starter fertilizer. So I am out back now of their house. Um, as you can see, especially this area right here. I mean, this was all completely bare. Uh, I'll show you before right here, and now you can see the after. Um, this is filling in really great. We're seeing really great germination right here with the GCI Cool Blue. Um, as you can see, it's really starting to fill in. And again, this is day 10 germination. So this is what we want to see for about day 10 germination. And I'm extremely happy with what we're seeing so far, especially in this area right here. This was completely bare. They dethatched this with the Sunjo dethatcher. Um, they covered this completely with peat moss and it's really filling in real nicely right now. So as you can see right here behind me, they are watering right now. Um, initially, I was going to have them water four times a day, but their uh, cycle or their rainbird uh, controller, it only does three times a day. So we're doing three times a day, but we're doing it at longer lengths. I think we're doing it about 20 to 25 minutes each zone, just so we're getting a good uh, dose of water on the seed here behind me. So this, I think this is probably their last zone for the day, and then it will shut off. Um, it's right around about like almost 5.30 right now. Um, I came over right from work just to show you guys some of the results. Um, and it is, it's really filling in really nicely. Uh, this area right over here, uh, it was really bad as well. Um, it was, they dethatched the hell out of this. Um, and we've thrown down a heavy dose of seed, especially in those areas. We threw down more in some of the bare spots uh, than the uh, areas that had existing grass. But especially the areas with existing grass, especially the ones, some of them back there, um, it really is starting to fill in again. Uh, that starter fertilizer, you can really tell that the it really kicked in, especially the existing grass. Um, but so far, I'm, I'm, I would say I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, there are a couple thin spots. Uh, I might have them throw down a little bit more seed in those spots. We are getting, you know, towards the end of uh, September right now. So whatever we do throw down is obviously going to be behind on what we initially threw down on day one. But as long as we keep up with the watering, maybe cover it with a peat moss to keep it moist, um, sh we should be fine. I did that at my house. Um, I had some thin spots and I uh, threw down additional seed. 
and just put down some peat moss on top um, just to keep those areas uh, moist. So I really don't want to step out on their lawn and in their front yard, the cars just constantly go by, so I gotta stay out back um, but to talk to you guys. But I just, I'm happy with the seed so far. It could it be better, of course. Um, you know, anything, any overseed could, you know, be better. But I think so far we're seeing really great results, especially in these bare areas that were really bad. Um, so again, day 10, germination right here behind me. Um, so far, everything's looking great. Um, again, probably day 15 like I did at my house. They have uh, more starter fertilizer, so we will probably be throwing down another dose of starter fertilizer right here behind me. Again, we'll probably be doing around the three pounds per 1,000. Um, that's just what we're gonna do. We wanna continue to drive those roots in the ground um, and start seeing that top growth come through, especially with the new uh, grass seedlings. We wanna see that top growth come through. Um, and then probably we're gonna try and wait as long as we can to do our first mowing right here behind me. Um, I will be doing my first mowing hopefully later this week. I will probably publish this video on Wednesday. Um, but I will probably be doing my first mowing at my house hopefully by the weekend We're supposed to be we're supposed to be getting some rain here in South Jersey Probably uh, Wednesday Thursday and maybe even Friday um, So I'm hoping to do my first mowing either Saturday or Sunday and again. I will do a video on that first mowing um, So please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content and you don't miss out on that first mowing video at my house. So overall, I think we're pretty happy with the results that we're seeing. The existing grass is thriving for the starter fertilizer that we threw down, the RGS and the Air 8. Again, you don't have to do exactly what I did. You don't have to do anything of what I did. I just really want to show you guys the results that we're getting and the pro different products that we put down and some of the results that we have seen some from some of those products. Um, so as you can see, existing grass is looking really great so far. Could it be better? It always could be better. Um, you know, you're not gonna get those ideal conditions all the time. You know, some days it's, it could, you could see a torrential uh, downpour. You could see some washout. Um, but, you know, overall, it, the grass is coming in. It's gonna continue to fill in. Again, day 15, we're gonna put down more starter fertilizer and possibly some RGS in area, probably whatever we have left and just throw that out and spray it and pray that hopefully you know that works as well but again it's not always going to be perfect um we're diyers i'm a diyer i'm just your average homeowner that just really likes grass and just really likes a good looking grass so again this is all just me showing you what i do my journey my results here at the project lawn and at my own house so like i was saying i want to change up my channel a little bit there's a lot of negativity out there right now about youtubers and then pushing products and different things that you should do to your lawn or what you should be putting down in your lawn and i really don't want to be one of those youtubers i don't want to come off that way so i'm trying to change things up i don't want to say that you have to do this or you have to get this product or you have to throw down this certain kind of fertilizer or you have to spray this kind of liquid fertilizer down in your lawn i really don't want to come across that way anymore I'm going to try and change things up for the remainder of the 2021 season and then going into the 2022 season I'm going to keep on doing that as well. I know I've probably come across that way in the past saying that you have to do this or you have to throw down this certain kind of brand fertilizer but you know what everyone has a different budget. I'm just a DIYer at heart. Um, I just like doing things myself. I'm just an average homeowner that just really wants a really nice lawn. And, and really in order to get a really nice lawn, you really just need to go out on your lawn and you have to try different things. Um, that's what I did. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, of course. I've read a lot of different things as well. Um, but I'm continuing to learn. So as I learn, hopefully you guys can learn a little bit on some of the results that I get. Um, so again, I'm gonna try and change things up, make this more of like almost a vlog and just show you the different things I'm putting down on my lawn, different things I'm doing to my lawn, um, and just seeing and showing you guys the results of that lawn. Um, so I really don't wanna come across that way. There's a lot of negativity out there right now, like I was telling you. Um, so I'm gonna try and, and be better. I'll be a better person, a better YouTuber, a better creator, and it's just a, a better DIYer. And I'm trying not to push as much product I'm gonna just really try and show you guys the results that I'm having at my house in the project lawn right here behind me. So again, guys, uh, just take what I tell you in my videos, especially in my earlier videos, as just, as just a recommendation. You don't have to use those products in, in your lawn. I know everyone has a different budget, 
out there and they can't afford everything. Um, I've seen a lot of great results with just regular box store uh, fertilizers and different things that you can get at the big box stores. Um, so again, you know, feel free, adventure out, try different things, you know, go to different stores if you would like. If you want to go to Home Depot or Lowe's or Menards, if that's in your area, you know, try those products. Just make sure you read the label, you read the instructions, so you know how much you're putting down um, and so you're not making mistakes. You know, always read instructions, always read the label so you don't over apply anything. Um, and again, I'm trying to change everyone tries to change everyone tries to be a better person and that's what i'm going to be doing here on my channel i'm going to try and push less product and just show you really the results that i get from the different things that i do to my project loan right here behind me and at my house at home so i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have make sure you smash that like button it helps out with the channel so other people can find my videos and again like i said i'm trying to change my channel i've seen a lot of negativity in the lawn care community and there's a lot of great youtubers there's a lot of great creators out there and i want to just see less negativity in the lawn care community and i want to see more positivity and i just want to see a better overall community as a whole because there are a lot of great guys and girls out there that create videos about the lawn care community and if you're interested in the day 15 germination I saw at my own house, check out the video right here on the end screen. And also, if you're interested in the steps I did at my fallover seat at the project lawn right here, and at my own house, check out the other video in the end screen. And all, to all the new people out there, this is your first time watching my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there in the middle of the end screen. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.